Good morning and happy Sunday. At least today is Sunday while I'm filming this. And uh, Sunday always means I'm baking hefe zopf. Which literally means yeast braid. Like how you braid your hair. That's how it's gonna look like. Anyways, I'm going to bake that today. And uh, the last few weeks and months I uploaded Instagram pictures every Sunday. And a lot of you have asked me to share the recipe and the play-by-play. -play. So this day has come. And follow along as I'm making our most favorite Sunday gift. I've put the 750 grams of all-purpose flour or maida in a separate bowl now we have to put a well in the middle and add the 14 grams of dry yeast to it make sure you measure it correctly now we add a room temperature egg very important that all ingredients are room temperature now an important sweet part is the sugar 135 grams make sure you measure everything um, only then it will come out beautifully now I'm adding vanilla sugar. This is also from Germany, but you can add vanilla essence as well. Milk also have to, has to be room temperature, 350 ml. And now we add the butter, just all around, just as you see me doing it, 160 grams of room temperature butter. Pinch of salt on the side. And now really get into it start kneading it, bring it all together. When the dough has come together, you can just take it out onto your uh, work surface area, scrape it all out. And uh, based on how the dough feels, if it's a little bit too sticky, you can add a little bit more flour. Um, if it's a little bit too dry, you can add a little bit more of the milk. And now the real work starts. For exactly 10 minutes, you have to knead it with all of your strength. So let's do that right now. Five minutes over, Christine. Way to go. <laughs> so it's over. That's good. Now that we have added it for 10 minutes, we will add the raisins. I do understand not everybody loves raisins, so you can omit this, but we do love raisins and it's traditionally a, a, a bread with raisins. So you just basically the dough and knead the raisins in <laughs> and you don't do it before because otherwise they kind of tear up and then go through the whole dough and it doesn't look nice anymore so carefully you add them towards the end of this process so shape it into a ball keep it in the same And let it rest for at least 45 minutes or until the dough has doubled. This is the first proofing that we are doing. So I'll see you again in 45 minutes. Now hasn't that risen beautifully? After 45 minutes the dough has doubled in size. Take it out onto the counter, knead it, knead it again a little bit. Now comes the measuring. I measure it so that I can divide it equally into six pieces. You can also do eye measurement. I guess I'm a little too German for that. I have to weigh it and I make sure all pieces are of equal weight so we can braid it beautifully later.
now that I have braided my two uh, leaf braids, they have to proof a second time and have to sleep again for about 45 minutes or until they have doubled in size. Hello again! <laughs> the second grouping is done. So take one egg and just mix it up a little bit. What you're going to do is going to brush it over these braids now that they have proved two times. They're really soft. So just brush over generously with the egg. You'll give it a really nice color. and of course this is I don't think you can get it here in India but I'm just gonna show you uh, this is what it is it's basically crystallized sugar but it is you can kind of break it up like this so it's not hard and you can even eat it it's kind of nice mm, very nice so you put this on top if you don't have this if you don't have this, you can bake it just like that and you can put powdered sugar after it's baked. Um, or you can even put shaved or cut up almonds. That will also work very well. That is before baking. So for me, I prefer this one. Until it's over, then I will also do with uh, the powdered sugar. Bye.